I am Jim Callison. This is Clifton Strengths Podcast Season 3, recorded on January 25th, 2024. In this Clifton Strengths podcast series, we'll look at how to feel more energized and motivated at work one theme at a time. And today's theme is connectedness. If you're listening live, I'd love to have you join us in our chat room. If you're listening after the fact, you can send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. Dr. Jacqueline Robinson is our host today. She works as a senior learning and development consultant. And join me for season one and two of the Clifton Strengths podcast, where we looked at uh, well being at work. It seems like a million years ago. And our Clifton Strengths role based reports. Jacqueline, always great to be with you. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Hopefully, folks high in in, in uh, connectedness today can put all the pieces together as we do this, and I'm hoping we do it as well. We're spending Connect this season the talking about bringing energy to work with our themes, and today we're talking about connectedness. Let's talk about the individual first. What are some ways an individual with connectedness can feel more energized by focusing on their basic needs? Yes. And who doesn't need clarity and resources in the workplace? Yeah. Uh, so I think understanding the deadlines, um, the impact to a team or to customers, how it relates back to the mission itself, all of those are just examples of what can be helpful for someone high in connectedness. Uh, but really consider what links in the workplace help you gain clarity and understanding regarding that bigger picture. And then ask your manager for insight and clarity where it's needed. So I threw out a few examples for you that might resonate, but maybe there's something else that helps you think about the bigger picture and connecting those dots. Mm -hmm. You threw in a little Q12 in there with basic needs. I, I, you know, I've got materials and equipment and I know it's expected of me. Yes. And thinking about then, and I hadn't really put those two together of thinking, getting all the pieces in place. That's a lot harder mm -hmm. said no, it's a lot harder. It's a lot easier said than done mm -hmm. in making sure someone's experience in their first eight weeks is a connected experience. You're connecting them Ooh, to yes. the organization. I hadn't really yes, ever, <laughs> I had never really thought of it that way. Uh, but, but very interesting yes. to think through that onboarding. I've spent a lot of time talking about the key to onboarding, right? Yes. And high in connectedness being the master onboarder, mm -hmm. right? Of being able to connect all the dots so somebody's experience makes sense. I don't know. Any other thoughts? Yes. On that? Yeah. And I, I feel like we're teasing in the manager piece now. And no, it's probably. So yeah. True. Um, well, just when I think about engagement overall, it's you're yeah. tapping into something that we're seeing with newer team members that are working remote that onboarding experience might feel a little lackluster for them. Um, yeah. But someone with connectedness could say, oh, here's a roster. Here's, you know, 10 people you could go and connect with in your team and across teams that are going to give you some insight on, you know, what they're doing, how you connect back to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they can really enrich the onboarding experience and make someone that might be new or remote feel so hyper connected to the workplace. Well, great and call out. To bring it back to the individual, I mean, that individual high in connectedness could mm -hmm. could spend time putting the pieces together for themselves and how they fit in the organization and how the organization's mm -hmm. collective history and their current mission all fit together. Mm -hmm. so that, that, that They're putting those pieces together, right? They're beginning to mm -hmm. say, these things are here because of that. We, here at Gallup, um, on the first floor, you can walk around, they, you make a circle, and it's kind of like a history of, it's a history of Gallup, right? There's a picture of George uh, George Gallup that's there. We have a picture of, of Don Clifton. Then then you can go down, and there's there's like stations, and you can walk down and connect the pieces together. Yeah. Like, this is what we do. This is how we do it. This is the mission of it and why and some of the things we're doing. So. Yeah. I think maybe for individuals at work, making sure they're making those connections, right? They're finding those pieces to put together for mission. Um, what other ways, as yes. we think about the individual, uh, can someone with high in, um, in connectedness feel more energized by focusing on their individual strengths and development? Tease that out a little bit more. I think thinking about what you do with ease and enjoyment. 
Mm -hmm. uh, where, the, where might there be other opportunities to use those talents on a project or working cross collaboratively with another team? And if you're having a difficult time identifying how else to use them, uh, maybe check in with your manager and your next, you know, check in with them in your next one on one or developmental conversation. And they might have some ideas um, and can support you in that process of, of thinking of other places you can connect those talents in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so speaking along those lines, keep keep going with that. What are some ways an individual with connect, connectedness, <laughs> easier said, yeah. than that, can feel more energized by building partnerships, finding purpose in the role? Um, well, they value the idea that everything's interrelated. So if you have this theme, encourage cross-functional collaboration. Where mm -hmm. do you see opportunities to collaborate with other teams or partners? You might just broach that topic or ask it as a question and then see what the the rest of the team has to say mm -hmm. yeah i yeah. i i don't i don't have this very high but i did spend some time you know early in my career here beginning to ask some questions of how can i use my talents in other areas that mm -hmm. aren't necessarily my responsibility right you know and yeah. uh, that had some huge payoffs still continues that in internal agility right yeah. it's a it's yeah. a big thing yeah, I mean, we're doing this today because of the connected, for me, that connected, hey, the mission, the purpose, what we're trying to do, getting from Clifton Strengths to we're going to have some coaches to we're going to train some coaches. Oh, we're going to have a certification program for those coaches. Mm -hmm. well, we got to communicate with these high communication. We got to communicate with these coaches, then start working down the line, right? And here we are today because of that. I yeah. love that connect. See, I love thinking of that, all those things being connected. So, Let's switch to the manager. This is even a more fun conversation. How can a manager with connecting us support others with their basic needs? Um, recognizing that barriers to your team's work can create that ripple effect, and that can lead to other bottlenecks for other people, not just your team. Um, so this ability to see the interconnectedness among people can be beneficial when elevating a matter. Because you can say, well, it's not just our team that's impacted, but this can happen X, Y, and Z. You can show that cascade effect and really flag something that might not feel as imperative to others until they see that bigger picture and ripple effect. Yeah. How, how do you think that helps others feel seen, heard, and valued when, when you do that? Talk to me some about that. Um, whenever I think about it from the engagement perspective, when we're listening to somebody that has a barrier or a frustration in the workplace, and then we flag it and we activate on it, they feel cared about as a person. They feel seen and heard for the, the you know, voice that they chose to raise. Um, but that value decreases really quick when they raise their voice and then we do nothing with it and we just kind of sweep it under the rug. So I think this is where connectedness can really come in handy because naturally they're going to be thinking of ripple effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think of stability is when you're talking about this, these, you know, putting, pulling things together. I don't know. I just, that word stability, when we think about our four needs, mm -hmm. followers, I think about that stability of the, putting the, putting the pieces together and people go, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe that's what I crave in it when I see it happen. Is it, mm -hmm. I can go, oh, okay. Oh, all that makes sense. Okay. Yes. This is how we got there. Yes. And it provides yes. clarity, right? It provides that. T talk some more about how a manager with uh, connecting this can build trust, inspire, and deepen team collaboration and community then too. Uh, they can help team members see how they the the work they put forth impacts other teams. And they can build bridges between teams and help them see their interconnectedness. Um, one thing they could do is encourage them to talk through their priorities or current barriers, their preferred communication method, their preferred work styles, so that as a team, they're more aligned on shared goals. But even if they work across teams, having that same level of communication, you know, priorities, barriers, communication style, work style can help them be more aligned as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, for some reason, that deep in team collaboration keeps popping out at me of this yeah. tool uh, to say, yeah, but these, this is the why. Like, mm -hmm. this is the why. We need to collaborate yes. because of these things. Yes. All these things. 
like whatever that is, however that comes together. Um, I'd <laughs> just as we're talking about this, I kind of love to watch somebody do that right now. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm so drawn to the, to the theme. Let's wrap it up with this. How can a manager with connecting to support the growth of each team member? Ooh, this is always a fun one too. Um, but for individual development, when you're thinking of those plans you're putting together with the employee, um, you know, you could probably see how that employee's past efforts have led to their current progress. So lead discussion during progress checks on how their talents connect to their behaviors, their successes, and their relationships at work. And then that can provide a really good recipe for what to focus on in the future. Like, oh, hey, I've seen that your past efforts of doing this have worked really well. It's led to, you know, X, Y, and Z this year. Let's talk about that. Let's hone in on those behaviors. So let's study the recipe for success so we can apply that moving forward. Mm -hmm. I call it grandma's traditional recipe. We know it across <laughs> cultures. It's yeah. the recipe we never want to change because it just works so good. Just works. <laughs> it yeah. just works. I was Pass in a team meeting today, uh, just actually right before we met here. Um, and I, I got to give, the, you know, it was a new, new employee, newish employee to Gallup. And we're talking about podcasting and where we've been. And, you know, we've been doing this for 12 years. And you're like, Hey, let me just give you, before we start, let me just give you a little mm -hmm. context, uh, the pieces that we've put together here and why we've kind of done what we've done. And, um, it, it, it's so, it's so great. I can, I can, I can always kind of tell who's going to be able to work with me and not when I get done with that. And either they say, thank you, or they move on quickly, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh, thanks for that. Or I'm okay. Uh, -huh. uh whatever you just said, you know. Uh, type deal. So that for, for, for me, that always develops growth in that as well. Jacqueline, any final yeah. thoughts as we wrap up connectedness? Um, I would say from a people piece, I, I love connectedness because they're, they're, you know, curious. They remain curious of someone's perspective or their background and how that's influenced who they are and how they show up in the world. And I think that level of curiosity they have from that more personal or relationship perspective shows a lot of compassion and it can um, also lead to support and encouragement because they have built that psychological safety of, of mm -hmm. curiosity. And I just want to get to know you and how has your past really supported who you are now and where you see yourself going. Um, and so I would say, hey, continue to embrace that because people are looking for closeness. They're looking for um, camaraderie. We're still coming out of the, what, four or five years of the pandemic where that social isolation is still there for a lot of people, um, especially when you look at like mental health stats. People are more isolated than ever before. But someone with connectedness, I always say they have that good juju, the really good energy that makes people just calm and relaxed and you soothe them. So um, I know we talked a lot about the workplace, but I think from the relationship side, there's so much juiciness that someone with this theme can can offer. It. it it was my mom. I never got my mom to take lifting strengths, but um, mm -hmm. if she did, it would have been connectedness, connectedness, connectedness. It's, it's, she would meet oh, people. How lovely. She was always trying to connect herself to them through family. Yeah. And so oh, she'd say, where'd you go to here? Example. What'd you do about this? Always questions. Maybe this is where I got yeah. the question asking stuff from was my mom. Right. But yeah. um she she'd work hard. I mean, she talked to you for 45 or 50 minutes if that's wow. what it took to get a connection to, yeah. to you. Right. And like, oh yeah, I know your aunts, you know, sister, brothers in law, whatever, you know, type thing by the end of the conversation. But that made she oh in, in the process of that, she got to know the individual and she could tell you she'd met somebody for, you know, just met him that day. She could tell you more wow. than Maybe some of their family even knew about them. So she was good at asking those questions with the purpose of connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. She wanted to connect you to her. And to, that was just a natural thing she did. She did it to everybody who came by. And it was so powerful. So oh, powerful to watch. Idea. It's a good reminder. I need, yeah. I could do that more. I don't I sometimes, it's just, that's not, that's not my drive. I don't drive to, you know, I don't ask those questions to connect, but to influence. Mm -hmm. I come at it mm -hmm. from an influencing standpoint. I don't know. Jacqueline, always great to spend time with you oh, working yes. through this and uh, connecting the dots today. So thanks for coming out with me. 
Yes. With that, we'll remind everyone to take full advantage of all the resources we do have available in Gallup Access. Head out to my.gallup.com, sign in. It's not just for your top five, which, by the way, we have a new top five report. That's, that's beautiful. That's out there. It, is. it really out. is. Isn't it awesome? It's yeah, awesome. It's awesome. It, they did a really nice job on it. And um, it's available for you right now. Log in and go to your strengths dashboard. It'll be available there for coaching, master coaching, or if you want to become a Gallup certified strengths coach, you can. we do that as well. Send us an email coaching at gallup.com if you want to join us for the 2024 or whatever year it is for you gallup at work summit we'll have something going on head out to gallup at work.com and we'd love to have you join us whether it's in omaha or any other place in the world that we're going to be doing these things here in the future and then stay up to date with all the future webcasts by joining our facebook and linkedin groups or join us on any social platform just by searching clifton strengths we'd love to have you out there there's a lot going on around it mm -hmm. and if you enjoyed it hit those like and subscribe buttons and uh, we'd love to have you stay close and if you really found it helpful share it connect sharing the dots. is caring <laughs> connect the dot <laughs> share right get that out there as well thanks for listening today if you're listening live stay around for a little bit of a post show and with that we'll say goodbye everybody